We already discussed things a bit. Hey, where have you been? I've missed you two. Are you ready? Very well. Are you sure this is gonna work? I gotta admit, it's bold. Color me impressed. Hmm. It's worth a try. The point of discussion is to arrive at a solution. Let's cut the small talk and move to the next point. Making Paimon nervous. You're finally done. I have some other stuff to take care of. Catch you all later. Come on, don't give me that face. I know what you're going to say. I'll be careful. That's what I wanted to hear. Take care. Well, Traveler, Paimon, judging from your expressions, the meeting must have been quite productive. You can tell? I'm not that good at scheming a strategy, but I can sense people's emotions. And based on your reaction, things must have gone quite well. Uh, Paimon's a little worried. Hopefully nothing will go wrong. To be honest, I feel the same. But you're already some of the most capable people I know. So you have my trust. <laughs> Candace gave us a compliment! Your deeds speak for themselves. Candace, we stayed behind to tell you that, although you won't be coming with us, we'll be sure to remember your words. I'm very glad to hear that. I've said the same thing to everyone here today as I said to you when you arrived. Your safety is the most important thing. Only when you're safe can the plan be successful. So please, take care. You're welcome. And thank you for taking my advice. Good luck. With everything. I'll be here in the village praying for you. Sounds good. I'll go make some preparations. Okay. I'll hate them! Have you finished saying your goodbyes? Yeah! Also, Candace told everyone to be- Yes, she did. But I think my point also bears repeating. Our plan is not child's play. We won't be able to achieve anything if we're simply careful. I hope this is clear to you. Huh? Shouldn't you be saying something more ch Didn't we already do that during the meeting? You can never have enough words of encouragement. In that case, Candace can cuddle you to your heart's content while I continue to remind you of the seriousness of our situation. We all have our jobs to do, after all. It's like how- Hmm. Speaking of the front lines- Of course. Compared to the mercenaries, I'm merely a feeble scholar. But the advantage of not being a mercenary is that I get to stay in- Just think about that mercenary who lost his mind. Mercenary groups are facing constant danger every single- Well, being a scholar is also a high-risk occupation. I'm not like the rest of them. Even among mem- This guy. Huh. Hyman still remembers when those mercenaries in Port Ormos called you a lunatic. <laughs> All in- Hmm. Do you remember the record we saw in the King Deshret ruins? It mentioned forbidden knowledge. You have a good memory. Forbidden knowledge has the power to drive people insane. But this fact has never been shared with the public. 
Even I, who has worked in the academia for some time, was never once informed of this. I think... Those mad scholars and mercenaries we encountered may have all fallen victim to the corrupting qualities of forbidden knowledge, but the academia has always held a different view. They have always believed that symptoms of madness are a side effect of human contact with divine knowledge as mere mortals. Come to think of it, perhaps the academia has also never understood the true nature of forbidden knowledge, and thus always approached the issue from the wrong direction. The Withering, Elazar, and the Sandstorms. Don't you think what is happening right now across Sumeru is rather similar to the forbidden knowledge pollution that occurred in the desert thousands of years ago? But Paimon thought that Ermin Soul's disease is what caused the withering in the Hell East. That's what Tainari. Wait a second. Ah, you've connected the dots. The cause of Ermin Soul's illness may precisely be the pollution from forbidden knowledge. But if that's the case. What should we do? Wait. Why do you think Lesser Lord Kusanali would have a solution to this situation? You mean, it's related to the scene you saw when you passed out in the Avidia Forest? That whole, the world forget me thing? Hmm. In that case, it's imperative that we rescue Lesser Lord Kusanali. Only by working with her to save Erminsoul can we completely resolve the problem Sumeru currently faces. To make sure we're still on track, I would like to check on the state of some of our preparatory work. Where are we going? To an Aramite base. Oh, you made it. Huh? What are I gave them some technical work to do. Ah, oh, it's the scribe. And is that the traveler I see? How's the work going? Ah, yes. We have fixed the devices according to your instructions. One of them is already ready for use, while the others are still under repair. Aren't those devices for can knowledge extraction? What are you doing with those? Look here. Huh? Uh, more kid knowledge? Are you going to put more weird stuff into his head again? What's that look on your face? Are you scared? Hyman's a little scared, but very, very furious! Hmm. <laughs> That's an interesting response. Anyway, we're not going to use this just yet. As I mentioned during the meeting, this knowledge capsule contains a decree I drew up in the past. The Academia should also have their own copy. And according to the plan we just came up with... Traveler, I want you to record something into this capsule. Do you believe we can save Lesser Lord Kusanali? Good. Conviction is the most important... Now, please... You want us to record our conviction into the knowledge capsule? Yes. Uh, Paimon is still... I understand. But trust me, Paimon, this is something we have to do. It's best if you can do as I say, because, to achieve this impossible task, it sounds like you'll need to fool your own heart first. Although it may feel like a trick, self-encouragement may be the most important tool we have. Hmm. Paimon can see the point you're trying to make. Imagine this. We have orchestrated our plan and successfully rescued Lesser Lord Kusanali. As a result, we have changed Sumeru's entire political landscape. 
everything went without a hitch, and everyone recognizes and praises our achievements. Now, open your eyes. Here. What's this? Read it out loud. It's done. Is your head okay? Does anything hurt? It's just a recording. There should be no negative effects. But what was the point of doing this? Ugh, Paimon doesn't get it. And that's perfectly fine. In any case, these capsules aren't meant to be used by you. Huh? What do you mean? Have you forgotten? Our plan needs to account for those who have long relied on the Akasha. You may find it hard to believe, but for those people, everything the Akasha transmits to them is nothing short of absolute truth. Imagine if you've been using a device like the Akasha since the day you were born, and this device has always supported you during time. After all that time, what do you think you'd become? Uh, a, a slave to order, and that's why rules are... In addition, those who understand the rules can delineate boundaries and identify gray areas. You could say that those kinds of ambiguous zones can be very... interesting. Things you're interested in are really out there. Are all Sumeru scholars like this? Anyway, that's enough chit-chat. I'm going to take those two to work on some small projects. You can head to Caravan Rebots and start preparing for the next step. Small projects? We're going to tinker with the Akasha Terminal and make a few...
Revenge knows me. On the agenda? Born of ice and frost. says there aren't benefits to a life of wandering. I thought we agreed on a plan. How can you go back on your word? The plan is too radical and carries a high risk for casualties. I've given it a lot of thought. And in the end, I still can't agree to it. But it's still the best plan we have. As a former Matra, you of all people should be able to see the bigger picture and recognize the innate advantages of our plan. I did. And that's how I saw the danger behind these so-called advantages. <sighs> oh, Hitham's plan is even more radical than I imagined. Huh? Why are you guys arguing? My friend, you're just in time. Why don't you help me persuade Sino? He's turned against our plan. We agreed to work out a plan at the meeting. As mercenaries, you're familiar with the local environment. So you'll take care of the specifics. But then... You went to all Haytham for suggestions. Had I known all Haytham would give you those kinds of suggestions, I would not have agreed to the plan. Look, you already know that we're all on the same side here, don't you? Mercenaries place a lot of importance on their bonds of friendship, but also will not hesitate to make sacrifices if they deem the situation to be sufficiently dire. <sighs> I'm sorry. But as things stand, I can't accept your principles. Seems you really do understand the ways of the desert. Traveler, Paimon, this is also something you should know. Rahman's plan is to have me work with the Caravan Reebok guards in my capacity as a Matra. We will arrest the mercenaries and escort them into Sumeru City. Wait, how can we work with the guards? 
We can't get through that wall easily, remember? Caravan Rebot would never let so many unregistered members of the Eremites enter Sumeru City. My plan will clear us of any possible suspicion, and also let us enter the city as a big group. There is no better way. That also sounds like something All Haytham told you. Am I right? Doesn't All Haytham know how dangerous this plan is? Of course he does. He told me. There is no perfect plan, but this can get the job done. He also said that with the help of Sino and the Traveler, our chance of success would increase significantly. I never blindly trust anyone, and I've always had a good eye for people. I think he made a number of valid points. It's my own choice to trust you. If I make the arrests alone, I can control myself and prevent you from getting hurt. But I can't guarantee that kind of discipline from the guards. To make the whole thing more convincing, you'll need to resist to some degree. Casualties are inevitable once push comes to shove. I'm okay with the deaths of enemies. But now that we're allies, I'm against the meaningless loss of our own. <laughs> I can't believe a mantra would actually care about us. I've lived a hard life, and I can say that people like you are hard to come by. I've always treated my allies with honesty and respect. They have the right to know important things like this. Now you're making this hard for me. Hey, is there something we can do to help? <laughs> I knew you would say that. Hmm. We can help fight some of the mercenaries, which should reduce the number of times you'll have to struggle directly with the guards. That should help at least a little bit. Sino, on behalf of my people, I thank you for your kindness. But this is a mission we cannot turn our backs on. We strongly value the lives of our friends, but the goal we are about to achieve is even more important. We have no fear of casualties, because we crave the spoils of victory. So please... Well, now that you've put it that way, I can no longer refuse. But remember, you need to follow the plan and not do anything reckless. Candace made it very clear that we can only achieve our goals if we can ensure our safety. Since you and I both recognize the significance of this operation, there should be no more animosity between the followers of the Dendrowarkon and those of King Deshret. Everyone's life is equally important. Okay, you have a deal. Let's do this for our shared dream. The guards should be stationed in the courtyard nearby. You can find them there. Guards! General Mahamatra! To... to what do we owe the honor? Keep your voice down. This is a secret operation. I'm going to arrest a large criminal gang near this location. According to the Academia's Guide and Regulations on Secret Operations, I have the right to ask for the cooperation of Caravan Rebot. Ah, of course, of course. Mahamatra Sino's order is the Academia's order. Just let us know what you need. But who exactly are you planning to arrest, and how many people are you expecting? Depending on the scale of this operation, we may need to report it to our superiors. They're a squad of Eremites whose number is comparable to Ein El Akmar in Port Ormos. They're involved in the theft and resale of supplies from the Academia. As many as Ein El Akmar? This should definitely be classified as a joint operation. Then I suggest that you report this to your superiors as soon as possible and treat it as a top-priority desert operation. I will need personnel. Got it! Please wait a moment, I'll contact them immediately.
Because this is work. Because I trust you. Paimon can't believe you're still in the move to chat. This whole thing has Paimon scared stiff! Aren't you even a little worried? What if these guards already know that you have betrayed the Academia and are no longer their General Mahamatra? Even if that guard doesn't know, their superiors might, right? We discussed this, remember? The Caravan Rebot operation is of great importance. But don't worry, the guards there shouldn't know that Sino has stepped down. How can you be so sure? First, the other Matra still don't know why Sino has left, which proves that the Academia has been covering up the matter. Second, this is a crucial moment for the Academia's God creation plan. If something were to happen to the General Mahamatra, it's bound to attract no matter how you look at it. They don't seem interested in sharing the news of Sino's departure. A reasonable inference. Which brings us to our next issue. I'm sure some of you have been wondering if the prediction function of the Akasha will affect- The Akasha is still in operation. So I must rem- Actually, considering the power of the Akasha, it's- I've given that a lot of thought. For now, I don't think you'll need to worry. If you remember, when you first came to Aru Village, all your actions and routes were predicted by the Akasha. It even gave that information to those who kidnapped the village- But, things like that never happened again after we met up with the Traveler. Hmm, that's true. But why? Look at it from a different angle. Why do you think the Akasha will predict your actions? Because my personal data has been entered into the Akasha. That's true. But, the key to this question is, how well can the Akasha make predictions about a person? Haven't you ever thought about it? Just how can it do this in the first place? Because the Akasha controls the entirety of Sumeru. The Academia firmly believes that all human actions can be explained through logic. By sorting and analyzing entered data, the Akasha can derive behavioral logic and predict the actions of those who fit an existing logic model. However, at the risk of sounding like an advocate for fallacies, can everyone truly be considered logical at all times? Emotions are part of our behavioral logic. But can you guarantee that every experience of the same joy or pain would be equally intense? How can our feelings and opinions... Hmm. Sino, in the past, you've always worked alone. In the absence of another person who's decisive and principled, you were used to solving problems alone. That's why the Akasha could figure you out. But now, you've joined a team. And I believe the Akasha hasn't yet figured out the full composition of it. Our thoughts and logic have intermingled. The Akasha lacks- So, in my- Huh, makes sense. <sighs> I guess there are things that even the Akasha cannot calculate. And people will not be forever trapped by the- Oh, I'm so glad that this is- Next time, pay attention. <sighs> will do. Just remember to- General Mahamatra, we were not expecting your presence here. I'm the security officer of the Grand Deshret Desert District. My name is Luxembarba. Hmm. This is my assistant, the Traveler. He will be working with me. The construct next to him is for his work. Beep! Construct! Beep! What a great honor to meet you. Your golden hair is as bright as the sun. And... Uh, this is the latest technology from the Academia? Have you made a decision regarding the matter I mentioned to your subordinate? It seems to be a dire situation, so of course you will have our full cooperation. There's no need for flattery. <clears throat> yes, sir. Take your most elite platoon and follow me to the eastern side of the district. We will carry out the operation there. Understood. <sighs> map. Hurry, bring the map! In two days, we will engage Ramon's Aramites and capture all of them. Any questions about the time or location? None at all, sir. Good. See you then. Yes, sir. Maybe hanging around the General Mahamatra isn't so bad after all. Everyone's so respectful towards us. This is all due to the absolute authority of the Academia. Get ready.
on the agenda? Fine. Into the wind. Come. Hmm. Better than nothing. The wind knows me.
agenda. Perhaps whoever left these behind was also fulfilling a contract. Into the wind! Time to go! Lucky today! One with nature! Shit! Better than nothing. All this, aren't ya? All right, tip him on everything. You I didn't act immediately when he showed up. Rather, I laid. He is not the primary instigator, but he is most likely one of the more important dealers here. Am I right? Yes, impressive. You certainly live up to your reputation, Sino. If I had any idea you were still around, I wouldn't have gotten so greedy. Once everyone knew you were coming, all the canned knowledge dealers abandoned their goods and fled at once. Obviously, there wasn't time to pack up everything. Since all the goods were just left here unsupervised, I thought I'd use the opportunity to come back and take what I could. You know, free merchandise is good business, but... I suppose there's no use explaining it now. You must know who's manufacturing and selling the canned knowledge, correct? No, no. I'll talk. 
But before that, perhaps if we stay here, chances are that someone will see me with you. That would put both me and my family in danger. All right. How about my home in Aru Village? It should be safe. Fine. Let's head out. You can throw away the tracker now, traveler. Listen, buddy, you better not try to trick us. Come on now. Do you really think I'd try to pull anything under Sino's watch? Seriously, what can I even do? Behind schedule. on the agenda. Next on the agenda. We're way behind schedule. Oh! 
Oh, we have guests? Uh... This is my daughter, Seeming. She can be a... Why don't you run along now, dear? Dad needs to talk with our guests. Oh, okay. Everyone knows Sino in our business, but let me ask, who are... Paimon is Paimon, and this is the Traveler! To be honest, I really didn't expect to see Sino, the lone opera. But even though you caught me, I'd still urge you to stop while you still can. Why is that? Everything, from the manufacturing of canned knowledge, to the sales and even splitting the profits. Every step of the process involves dozens, if not hundreds of people. Massive profits have brought everyone together in this business. Everyone will try their best to defend this industry that we've worked to build. And even if you manage to win in the end, no one will thank you. Everyone has their own reasons for what they do. I don't have to explain mine. <sighs> Here's some tea, Dad. And for the guests, too. Uh, right. I forgot to offer tea to our guests. <laughs> don't mention it. And, uh, I should tell you that our tea tastes kind of bitter, but I put some sugar in to make it a little tastier. That's my girl. Do we still have any sugar left? If not, I'll buy some more next time. Yes, we do. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go have a rest now. Didn't you say that everyone's in it for the massive profits? That sure doesn't seem to be the case for you. <clears throat> Actually, that's... My daughter was born with a chronic disease, so she has a relatively weak heart and lungs. Even slightly strenuous exercise can cause her to faint. That's why she never really had any friends to play with, and why she locks herself up in her room most of the time. She has to take lots of medicine, and it doesn't come cheap. As for me, I was just an average merchant. I would wake up early and travel all around to make a profit. But the mora was still nowhere near enough. Until one day, Someone reached out and showed me a way to really make a profit. Selling canned knowledge. That's right. With all the mora I made, I could finally afford medical treatment for my daughter. Nothing made me happier than seeing her get better. There are many others like me. Smuggling canned knowledge might seem like an unforgivable crime to you, but to us, it's a means of survival. I wanted to tell you all this so that maybe you could understand and change your mind. Please. Stay out of this, Sino. Give us a way to survive. Oh, no. That means that if we prevent this... <laughs> I must get to the truth. I can find someone to help treat your child. But I cannot turn a blind eye to the smuggling. These are two completely different issues. <sighs> I somehow knew you would say that. But having your word to help my daughter is enough for me. You'll find some goods I received just recently. Whoa! Yes. All neatly packed away and organized in boxes. To think that this is only one dealer's worth. Small producers could impossibly support such a large quantity of goods. Hmm. capsules we've seen maybe they can take yes that would make sense wait what's this yes it's a matra seal indicating that the goods have passed matra inspection i started to suspect that someone in the academia might be involved when i found the tracker earlier but how they could ship so much canned knowledge out of the academia was still a mystery. The pieces have now all fallen into place. With this matra seal, goods can leave the academia without undergoing a second inspection. <laughs> no wonder they don't want me to investigate. It turns out that a matra is behind this. Could I ask you for a favor, Trap? Since all this canned knowledge came from the academia, then it's highly likely that the knowledge regarding the Court of Desolation originated from research files stored within the academia. If we can enter the repository, we can... But, considering my current status, if I suddenly show up at the academia now, you'll need to be the one who checks the records. I'll write a... Sure thing! 
I'll also keep working here in the meantime. We can get more information on other dealers from Bahari. I'll stay here and make some preparations. You can come find me any time if you uncover more info.